name's uh, Richard Arsenian and I'm a uh, solution architect here within our R&D performance engineering group. When I was younger, I used to race remote control cars um, you know, after school at the racetrack and so forth. We used to save up enough pocket money to go buy these parts for your car and try to make them go faster. Drones was something that really started inspiring me about two years ago when I got my first drone. And for me, it's all about now being able to blend the, uh, the data center and my ease of experience architecting applications in the data center essentially um, with the drones and the remote control and the aut autonomously driven vehicles. Today a drone takes photos, flies around, you can record videos. Um, they're very fixated in what they can actually provide. So the actual use case is very much integrated with just the hardware. I took a look at that and I said, well, what if we could actually take a drone and extend its capabilities beyond that, giving the, whether it's the enterprise or the consumer, the ability to start running applications on these drones, but really transition it into a platform to deliver far greater value. Macropolis One is essentially um, taking the concept of um, WebScale, which is using commodity-based hardware, putting intelligence in software and automating a lot of that. We actually have this product called uh, Community Edition. Now Community Edition is um, it's a free software download, um, but what it actually represents is the same DNA of the Nutanix software that's available within our data centers today. So this software essentially uh, converges compute and storage natively together. It's based on a hypervisor called Acropolis. So we take that software and we load it on a Intel Nuke. Um, a Nuke is essentially a small, tiny, form factor, versatile server. And now suddenly we've got this drone that's flying around with now a server. Its logic, um, it's what we refer to as being the control plane today, you would have a um, operator on the ground, you know, with a remote control flying a drone around, and yet they have to maintain this perfect line of sight. Now what Acropolis One does is takes that control logic and using a Google Maps kind of view, we can actually plot out different waypoints and that drone will fly through those. So the advantage here is that suddenly now, this drone can be flown anywhere in the world. It can collect data, it can process it in real time, and then we can also take that data, replicate it somewhere. We can also um, provision applications on the fly. Imagine being able to take an application and you know, migrate it to another drone while that drone is flying. Um, being able to take all that data and replicating it back to a Nutanix cluster um, all in real time, literally having your apps in the cloud. It was, it was amazing just being there and seeing the first flight of this um, concept come into a reality. Because the drone's actually got a um, access point built into it and also 4G connectivity, that means that anyone with a client device like an iPhone or an iPad or an Android or PC can actually connect directly to the drone and access the data while it's getting processed in real time. You could be at a concert and uh, everyone's smartphones can directly connect to the drone and access whether it's the, um, the internet through there, it could be a proxy. You could even have a drone at a Formula One racetrack, you know, flying around and following cars. Our platform or our software is so versatile that it could be applied to almost any vertical now and the drone is just one of those examples of how extensible our software really is.